Oh, hi. Good morning. Uh, that's what I miss. Water. It does feel good. Okay, so I'm... Good morning, everyone. I'm going to read that book, um, P. It's P. It, that's his, his channel's name. It's just the letter P. Okay. So I'm going to read a little bit of that. <clears throat> you know what? Maybe I should stop. Dairy and completely and gluten, not yogurt though. I'm not gonna. Okay, well, I'm, oh, sorry. Okay, so I'm looking through my health books. Okay, and I found my. I'm gonna read a little bit of that. It's not a book. Maybe she made a book. This is a. I got this like 25 years ago, and I'm gonna read page five. Okay, and I didn't. I haven't read it for a long time, okay? Like for 25 years. It was hidden in one of my cabinets. Okay, so look at this particular, it's, what time is it? Like nine something. I just finished talking to my landlord. It's good, but she did have a, another heart attack. She is 82 and she's a, she's a go-getter. She does not just sit around. She'll go to the flea market, she'll, She's a good businesswoman. And um, but she eats she likes sugar. She eats ice cream every single day. That's she, <laughs> she said in her freezer that's what she has. I <laughs> agree. Um, and she likes candy too. Maybe she needs more uh, potassium or something. And water. She drinks tons of coffee too. I mean, that might help her not have uh I've told her I go try to drink broth instead of coffee, Margie. Um, anywho, because we had to do some cleaning on the roof in August. Okay. So I'm going to read this. Okay. Particularly in the case of girls, this is page five, abused by their fathers, a pattern of victimization is set up until released through therapy. Some of us will time and again. Choose relationships with abusive men. We believe in our core that we deserve the abuse. In fact, the abuse feels like love. Okay, I read this last time, but I'll... Okay, we may appear foolishly gullible. Yep, mm -hmm. We are armor-plated. We trust no one. That's... Um, I'm in that situation, which... But I, I trust my landlord. We are not attracted to nice men. That's exactly how I used to be. We go for the ones who are addicted, abusive, or violent, and our radar is so sensitive that we have little trouble finding them within the Christian congregation. Yes, I did read that. We desire someone who is unresponsive to our needs, someone with whom true intimacy is impossible because we do not trust enough to be vulnerable. Yeah, that's part of my core messed upness, and it's because of being a the only reason why I'm talking about my abuse a lot is because the agenda they're pushing right now towards children. And I can see because I can see how it messed me up because that's me totally because I was abused. I didn't trust. Okay. God made us with our conscience. God made us. It's a circle. It's an invisible circle around us. And if someone invades in that circle, it's like getting stabbed. Okay. You're not supposed to touch someone unless someone, and I'm seeing these, I don't watch these weirdos, but there's one guy that he hunts for mushrooms and he did work for Bill Gates and he did help make the impossible burger. I think they kicked him out. Okay. And he's been making, um, weird videos with a puppet saying the puppet can touch him and all that. I'm like, no, you don't. That's just weird. I don't know. I don't know if I think he got I don't he could have been fired from Bill Gates because he wasn't going to, you know, start playing their game. But maybe he is playing their game. You don't. I mean, if someone's in pain, like that's why nurses are so awesome. They could be. There are some, you know, those evil nurses. Uh, and some people had to go through the evil nurses when I was in the hospital. There was one evil nurse. 
And the guy next to me knew it. She was evil. And, um, and it was making him react. And it was scaring the whole hospital because he said that she gave him the wrong medicine. And um, he ended up getting tasered. I was right next to him. I was praying for him. But he was he was losing it. He didn't get he got um, he got a shot. He didn't get tasered. Thank God. No, he got a shot to get put down because he was going crazy, and and the cops had to come in. Okay. And he was crying. And he, <laughs> you guys try not to get in the hospital. That's what I mean. That don't drink too much alcohol. You ex Jehovah's Witnesses. Because you're used to having all that love in the congregation. Some of it's not true love. Okay, let's go back to the... Okay. So, uh, okay, that, yep, we desire someone unresponsive. Okay. And we don't trust enough to be vulnerable. We are angry. Some of us repress our anger and turn it inward. It may be vir virulent. virulent. Yeah, I did read this already. But let's go over it again. Um, yeah. Enough to destroy our immune system and kill us by disease. We deny our anger because to feel anger is dangerous. When I feel afraid, I get angry and it and it that gets dangerous. I scare myself. Like, oh to do you I mean I scare myself. God made us in his image. I, I do have a strong anger. So did my uh, some other people I know that were abused because they suppressed it. And you're supposed to talk about it. You don't need to be violent. Okay, but you're supposed to talk about it <clears throat> with someone you trust. But I don't care if, okay, I'm just going to stop that. Okay, in order to feel our anger, we have to believe that we are deserving a better treatment. If we, I was pulling him, he looks like he's in um, ecstasy. In order, okay, blah, 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 blah. okay. If we come to believe that the woman we are now deserves better, then we must believe that the child we were also deserved better. That is true. <clears throat> That's been going through my mind. This logically leads to the conclusion that daddy was the one who was wrong or bad. It may be less painful, or mommy. Mommies can do bad too. It may be less painful to continue to be abused by our husbands or boyfriends than face up who or what daddy was. That serves Satan's plan well because it inhabits the development of relationship Jehovah as our Heavenly Father. Some people don't like the name of Jehovah. I don't know why. Demons hate it. I'll tell you that. So if I say Jehovah and you hate that, you might have demons around you. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Um, it's I know it's Jehovah. I know. Okay. He sees everything. So if you're trying to hide something. But you don't need to... You don't need to share everything with uh, people because they're imperfect and they'll judge you, of course. Okay. You know what? It's brought to my attention in the last, like, 10 years. Gloria, don't judge. I'm going to judge you. Don't judge yourself. Because I was judging myself as worthless. Even though I've done a lot of good things. I just felt like a loser in this world. I can't play their stupid demonic games. Okay, it's evil. Okay, so this, sir. okay, Satan, yeah, okay. Relationship with Jehovah as our Heavenly Father. I never related to Jehovah as a father. As God, Lord, Sovereign Creator, yes. But as Father, no. I did not trust Jehovah. I'm still working on this. This is the, not the same as faith. I have strong faith. The problem lies in trusting Jehovah with my feelings. So the end result of abuse is adults who function in many ways like children. I went through that stage. We are unable to be known to ourselves or to others. We cannot freely approach the throne of undeserved kindness. We have tr strong tendencies to engage in destruction behaviors. I'm older, so I'm not engaging, but I've, I've done that. I used to speed, and I would argue with my boyfriend. That's a dangerous behavior. And my husband, I would argue with him. I wasn't a submissive little twit, okay? We are trained to be victims, perfect targets for Satan, yep. Uh-huh, yeah. What is abuse? Abuse takes many forms. All parents mistreat their children sometimes. That comes from imperfection. That's the only time I mistreated my my children. It's because of imperfection. 
not because I hated them. I love. That was a gift from God. And I always told people that. Okay. So where am I? What damages a child is a pattern of family life where the child's emotional needs for unconditional love is generally unmet. This can occur without over physical or sexual abuse in a dysfunctional family. Anyone who grew up in an overpowering violation of selfhood that just one incident may have tragic consequences rather than dramatizing many victims minimize the in incidents and many who were abused do not recognize that what happened was abusive even when they fully recollect it. People who suffer from shame, low self-esteem, lack of self-identity, and compulsive abuse obsessive behaviors were victims of abuse abuse whether they recall it or not that's true that is true you know what jehovah did help me i mean being a jehovah's witness did help me because at least i tried not to um you know abuse anything and you you know the meetings i think were good not now because those higher ups kind of okay let's go back to this this is page six. And then I'm going to stop. And I'm not doing this for views, okay? I don't make any money. And I'm not trying to get views. I want certain people. Ron, thank you for correcting me about the um, Snapdragons. I was going to write that. And I thought, I'm like, I'm just going to make a video. But you know what? This video probably will not go up for two days. That, that's why I'm going to make it kind of short. Because the longer it is, it, the longer it takes to go up. And I, it's because I live way up. Okay. I had such a good conversation, even though I found out she had a heart attack. Okay, let's go back. Okay. To answer that, okay, how do we, with our damaged spiritual, okay, how do we manage to function at all? How do we, with our damaged spirituality emotions, carry on for years as participating members of the congregation of God's people? To answer that, it would be helpful to have a working definition of constitutes mental emotional health. The following explanation provided by a brother who is a mental health professional is elegant, elegantly simple. Let me see if I can get this so you can screen and read it yourself. Because someone wanted this book. They're like, where'd you get this? It was passed around our congregation like 25 years ago because some women I did I, that was a good congregation that was a blessing and we were close but then you know Satan gets in there okay especially with us ones that have emotional health issues so when someone is mentally emotionally healthy the person they are on the outside which they present to others their personality including their practices is a reflection of what they are in the inside. What a person is on the inside is that the Bible calls the secret person of the heart. When someone is mentally, emotionally sick, the person they are on the outside, which they present to others, their personality, including their practices, hides or conceals what they are on the inside. Okay, I'm going to read that again. When someone is mentally, emotionally sick, the person they are on the outside which they present to others, their personality, including their practices, hides or conceals what they are on the inside. I'm not getting that for some reason. Okay, maybe if anyone, you can write it, but I'm, I probably will respond by a video and not in writing because I was going to write Ron because he said, that's not foxtail, that's snapjack dragons. They're okay. Okay, foxtail. I do have a foxtail, but it's all, I need to work on it. Um, and it was behind the snapdragons because foxtails is hummingbird's best friend. Okay. And snapdragons, because they weren't drinking out of the snapdragons that much. So thank you, Ron, for, you know a lot about, I'm a baby in flowers. I am not a flower girl. <laughs> I've been a flower girl. And how many weddings? Two. Okay. Okay. Okay, let's go back to this. Because you wanted it. What's your real name, Paula or Paul? 
Are you a female or male? Okay. Because I'm saying P. Some people are saying that P is good for your garden. I take a lot of vitamins. Maybe I should. There's a woman. Oh, I love her. Her videos. She believes in fairies, though. I wonder if she really does. Maybe it's just an act. She writes books and stuff. She's my age. Um, Beltine's Garden. She's into the a different kind of spirituality than me, but I don't care. I, I'm not. I'm. I'm not a follower of humans. But she is an artist, and it's be She does beautiful work, and she's. I think she's a beautiful person, inside. Sometimes I think she's too angry. She likes the Mother Earth. She said she's not going to pray to some old man up in heaven. <laughs> okay, that makes me think about this. Maybe she was abused. Because I know a lot of women. You just have to wait. Oh, Herc. See, Herc's making me. Okay, let me just go back to this and I'm going to say bye. Okay. Because I want that person. Okay. Because he asked please. And I'm like, wait, Herc. Okay, then. Okay, let me put it over here. I don't know what that is, you guys. Other oh, vitamins. Maybe um oil primrose or something. Um okay. Just wait. There I only have two more paragraphs. There can be two reasons why someone would hide who they really are. They may be evil and putting on a false front, like Satan does, when he transforms himself into an angel of light, or the person may have been so badly hurt when young that they have built up layers of defenses to keep the secret person of the heart from being wounded anymore. If these layers of defenses are strong enough and complex enough, they may form an alternate, yep, alternate personality that is very different from what the person truly is inside. I have that. And my cat, I only have one cat because my neighbor's like, how many cats? Because my neighbors watch my videos. Um, I just have different names for her because she caught a rabbit and I had to run out there. She'll eat it. She'll just eat its brains and leave its body. Because she catches it by its ears. Okay? I got her to drop it and it ran for its life. And she ran for it too, but she missed it. Okay? My cat has different personalities. She, I only have one cat. And she's feral. She came to me. Sent by God, I think. Okay, so. um, ooh, look at that. The person may have been so badly hurt when young. They have built up layers of defenses. See, one of my defenses is yelling. When I get scared, I yell. Okay. To keep the secret person of the heart from being wounded anymore. If these layers of defenses are strong enough and complex enough, they may form an alternate personality that is very different from what the person truly is inside. Ron, I'm going to tell you something. Maybe the, your neighbors are it's triggering something. Because you said you were with that woman. Your parents gave you to that woman who abused you sexually or in some way that's why your neighbors when she you hear that abuse my neighbors oh my god me and shine i've been in battles but you know what when you just imperfection and i just would react to my kids but now i'm praying and thinking things out man and my, it's yelling. I don't attack. I don't chase him with whips and <laughs> like my mom, hot wheel tracks. Oh my God. Being a single parent with six kids. Okay. In a haunted house. <laughs> that was a beautiful house. We had horses and stuff. We would, okay, let me go back to this. What is it like for someone to be locked away inside these defensive barriers? I always felt disconnected and unreal as though I did not exist in the real world with everyone else. The barrier, barrier was almost palpable. Oh, pal, palpable? Like a curtain or a wall. I envisioned myself tearing it apart or knocking it down and stepping through the other side. Sometimes I have reached my hand. I envisioned myself tearing it apart or knocking it down and stepping through to the other side. Sometimes I have even reached my hands out to do so, but there was nothing there that I could grab a hold of or beat down. See, this is she's a she is a writer. Now, after some therapy, I feel like I am at least really here. But who is I? 
Oh my God. See, she, she got worse than me. That is here. I do know now who I am. I have no clear edges. My boundaries are fuzzy. I cannot tell exactly where I leave off and someone else begins. This makes it hard for me to set limits on my own behavior and on the behavior of others toward me. I tend to fade in and out like an out of focus pitcher. Wow. See, my, I could probably be like that, but my garden is totally helping me it, because I, I focus on the beauty and I forget about emotional pain and bad memories as I don't have that many bad memories, but why do we remember just the bad things? I have so many good times. Okay, as my layers defenses come down, I feel fragile. Sometimes I'm so thin and brittle, I fear I might break apart. Or so insubstantial, I am afraid I will disappear back inside. But I like being here, so I fight hard to get myself in focus, to feel my edges, to feel the solid and whole. That's bizarre, okay? Okay, I'll I'll talk to you later. You guys have a great day.